So if you've got one of the lower level or entry level Nikon DSLRs like the D5100, D3100, 3000, 3200, 5000, something like that, uh, like me, you're probably on a budget. So I've been picking up some of these cheaper, older manual lenses for video because it's better to use manual focus in video anyway and you've got lots of control over the settings with an actual physical aperture ring. So if you've got these lenses on your camera and you use your camera for photos and video like me, um, you'll notice that these are great in live view mode, but you don't always want to take pictures in live view mode. Sometimes you want to use the old viewfinder and actually look through the camera to see what you're going to take a picture of. But when you're not in live view with these lenses, your camera body will actually trigger the little lever on the aperture and open it all the way up. So no matter no matter what setting you have on the aperture ring, if you're not in live view, your camera's got this all the way open. I've got a quick workaround fix for that and I'll show you right now. So the first thing that you're gonna do is take your lens, take it off of the camera, go ahead and look through it and you're gonna notice that when you got it at the widest aperture, for this one, it's a 51.4, so it's 1.4. Set it to 1.4. Close it all the way as far as it will go, which in my case is f16. You're going to take your lens and you're going to put it on your camera body. Line up the dots. Stick it on. Don't turn it just yet. You're going to watch the aperture blades. You're going to turn it just until you start to see the aperture blades open a tiny bit. Then go back. Go back to what you set it to, f16. So then from there, you put your camera on manual where it'll work even without a lens. It doesn't even know that a lens is on there, but a lens is on there. So what you're gonna do is then make sure you hold on to your lens because it's not all the way locked in, but it's pretty tight. I mean, like you could turn the aperture, you could turn the focus ring. You're not gonna get it, you're not gonna have it move unless you like really turn it or unless you like jerk it or something. I wouldn't recommend like holding this over you know, a cliff at, at the Grand Canyon or something, but I would recommend, you know, this for most of the normal photography that you're doing. See, like I just turned it pretty hard and it came off, but if you've got this on, you know, just not turned all the way, I would say it's like a quarter of a turn. A really easy way that I found out to do this is, for each lens this is a little different, but for me, what I'll do is I'll get the lens on there, I'll look in, I'll get it where the aperture is just starting to open, Set, set it to f16 in my case, turn it, turn it until the aperture is just starting to open, turn it back. I'll see where the little spike on the lens lines up to the top of the camera where it lines up perfectly with that Nikon logo right centered and I'll see what aperture that's at. So that's at 5.6. So then I know that the next time that I want to put this lens on my camera and I want to do it for photo, I set my lens to 5.6, I put it on and I stop turning, even though it's not clicking, I stop turning when it gets to centered, right up and down. So in this case, on the old school, 51.4, it's 5.6 and it lines up perfectly with the top. With different lenses, it's going to change. And if you don't have that old school aperture adjustment spike thing, then you're not going to be able to tell. But um, this is just... A really quick, easy way to get these lenses working on your camera. I know it's not the best fix, you know, they're not super sturdy on there, but, but I mean, you could shake it around and it's not going to cause any problems. And you get to look through the viewfinder, you get full aperture adjustment. So I'm looking through right now. You can actually t tell that that aperture is changing. You're getting a lighter, darker image, that the field is going to change in these photos. So, quick tip. Hope this helps you out if you're using cheap, older manual lenses on your Nikon body. And peace out.